Good morning gardeners. It is a beautiful day down here in the southeast. It's bright blue sky, sort of about 18 degrees. We're getting late October now, uh, but we're kind of approaching the time of the year when we start to sort of think about winter coming in and how perhaps some of the citrus trees uh, will do during the cold weather. So this video is purely about how citrus trees uh, cope and deal with cold weather. Uh, beside me here is a uh, Eureka lemon. Uh, this is my longest standing citrus tree in the ground. This is, this is now coming into its third uh, winter, so it's been in the ground for three years. And last winter was probably one of the hardest winters that we've had for probably a good decade. And I think if we had winters like that every year, I probably wouldn't bother with growing citrus outside. But because it's one in a sort of a seven to 10 year period that we get a cold winter, like that i can i can deal with that you know when this tree uh, went through this winter it lost about probably 70 percent of its leaves which has set it back because it hasn't set any flowers and fruit uh, this year hopefully this winter will be a little milder on it and it should be okay uh, but i want to just talk about how different citrus trees deal with different temperatures um, the first category of citrus which are the least cold tolerant would be lemons and limes. They are fairly sensitive. Any temperatures probably about the minus three, minus four mark uh, will start to incur damage onto the leaves and the woods. Um, grapefruit trees are a little bit colder hardy than that. They'll, they'll take down sort of a minus four, minus five, okay. Um, same with a lot of sweet oranges as well, a little bit hardier. Um, same with clementines, tangerines. Uh, but the most cold hardy would be things like the satsumas and kumquats and they will take quite easily down to a minus eight uh, degrees only for short periods of time i'm not talking about sitting at that kind of temperature but they will take they're the most hardy the reason being is because uh, trees like kumquats uh, really do go into a, uh, a dormant state all citrus do they go into a dormant state but the kumquat really does go into a dormant state and you can see that because that's triggered by when it flowers because it flowers in uh, about August time, so it takes a while for it to come back into into wait while all the other citrus are in bloom in the spring, kumquat will, will bloom about August and set fruits now. Um, the, the kumquat actually has done really well uh, this year. It bloomed in August and it is full of kumquats, green, probably sort of marble shaped fruits uh, now. So hopefully we shall see how they get on uh, through as the, uh, the the autumn and the winter progresses. Um, but I will sort of protect them if we do get any hard cold frosts. Um, so when we're talking about sort of uh, cold degrees and, and, and issues, the, the, the temperature on a certain given night will also affect how citrus are. When you get a, a clear night, no wind whatsoever, the ambient temperature of the, the night could say perhaps be minus two or minus three, um, say minus two sort of for a clear night but the leaf temperature of the plant could easily be minus four minus five which it can then start to incur damage the reason being is because frost call, uh, causes what's known as super cooling and so the temperature of the of the cells in there will go a lot cooler because of radiation frost than it will do from um perhaps on a on a on a windier night so even though you think oh it's only a minus two night sometimes you can get more damage that way because of what's known as super cooling whereas the same same temperature on a windy night the leaves will remain at the same temperature as the air so a minus two night means the minus two leaves so you have to kind of also be aware as to when to protect citrus trees potentially depends on the type of cold night that you're going to get so some of the important things that will affect uh, citrus trees in cold weather will be the freezing point that, that it reaches the minimum temperature that it gets down to uh, the duration of that cold temperature and what that kind of gets down to and also how well the, the tree has been hardened off to that kind of point uh, fortunately in, in in the south kind of, of the UK temperatures kind of heading into winter are generally pretty much on the, the cold cold side anyway so citrus trees that are outside my citrus trees will kind of pretty much get into a dormant state before we start then getting any frosts uh, which actually helps against it the problem is in, is in in countries where okay citrus trees are, are grown is that they'll have a, a warm uh, sunny kind of winter's day and then they might have a hard frost overnight and the citrus tree is actually more vulnerable 
to damage when it's in that kind of condition than it is actually being within a period of cold weather leading up to the hard freeze. So when we talk about citrus trees being hardened off, uh, it literally means that they are slowing down and almost becoming in a dormant state for when you get any cold freezes, they're much more able to uh, withstand it. Age of a tree is also another thing that will be an important factor. A young tree is not gonna take cold as much as a older tree, a more established tree. And so, and, and when we're talking about these temperatures, we're talking literally about the, the, the leaf and the branch work. This is not including temperature of the fruit because the citrus fruit um, could easily freeze, you know, sort of at minus two, minus three degrees for any extended period of time. Uh, citrus trees that have fruit on them will also be less hardier than citrus trees that don't have any fruit on them because they're still kind of putting in their energy. They haven't quite gone into a dormant state. They're, they're using their energy into to ripening the fruit. And also really a good rule of, of thumb is once temperatures really kind of go below a minus three mark, you want to protect uh, most citrus trees to some extent if you can. When they're smaller, that's okay. You can do that um, by using something like a bubble wrap or something laid over the top on a, on a wooden frame to protect them. Um, obviously as they get uh, bigger, it becomes more difficult to do that. But then the fact that they're larger trees, they're more mature, they'll be able to withstand the cold weather um, anyway. Uh, the next point that I wanted to just discuss is if you get a cold night and you do see some damage on the tree, what should you do? Well, simple answer is nothing. Don't go out and start pruning off the dead parts or what, you, what looks like the frost damaged parts of your tree. Uh, two reasons for doing that is because citrus tree, even though a certain branch of the tree may look like it's been badly hit by the frost, um, it may just be superficial and it may just be the leaves on the outside which it will drop and then can regrow. And so you don't really know which wood is technically dead and which wood is actually alive until the spring, until it regrows, and then you can easily clearly see. Also, if you start pruning too early, when you get some milder days in the winter, that can also encourage it to start putting out new growth again, which you don't want, because new growth is, is so much more susceptible to any particularly cold snaps that we may get. So uh, the best thing is to do is when you, if you look like your citrus tree has damage, don't touch it until spring breaks and it starts to put out new growth and then you can clearly see the damaged parts uh, to the undamaged parts and then you can prune accordingly. So that's just a, a few points that I wanted to just share with you on uh, how citrus uh, deal with cold weather. Uh, like I say, I'm down here in the southeast. Uh, my lemon tree here has been in the ground. This is third third year now. And uh, last winter was its hardest winter that we've had with it so far and it's pulled through fine. Okay, it lost a load of leaves. It didn't look particularly very great in the spring, but it has flushed out and uh, is, is, is doing great. Same with the lime uh, and the satsumas that are planted in the ground. So that's a, a bit of a rundown just on citrus and their cold hardness as we approach the winter season. I uh, hope you're all doing well and I shall speak to you all soon. Take care.